Hi, I'm Tatiana Dichenko, and this video is about three stages of a romantic relationship with a narcissist, real life example, true story. And this is the story of Olga, how she got into the narcissistic trap and couldn't get out in time. And if you want to know more stories like this, subscribe to my channel, click the button below this video and the bell and you will get notification about my next videos. Olga met a handsome guy, Peter, and he admired her. At the beginning, there were a lot of presents and promises made during the early dating. And it was a first stage of romantic relationship, which is the pre-election campaign. And the goal is to win her over, win her affection. In a month, he proposed to her. In two months, they got married. It's stage two of the relationship, the commitment stage, the narcissistic trap. Relationship with the narcissist is progressing really quickly and this is a very important red flag that you're dealing with a narcissist before the wedding olga started having doubts should i marry him will he always be like this and sometimes when she looked at him she saw an ugly frog face instead of human she got scared and she told her mother, Mom, I don't want to marry him. And mom said, Are you crazy? We invited so many people from different cities, different states, and they paid for the trip. And Peter paid for the wedding. Why didn't you think before? And she couldn't think before because he was absolutely different. You just need to have more time to see this. So Olga was ashamed and guilty and she didn't want to create trouble for everyone. And she got married. And this was the most terrifying year of her life. She progressed to stage three very quickly, which is the broken hopes stage. Her dream to have a happy family was destroyed. He became a monster. He told her that she is ugly, stupid, unworthy wife, terrible cook. He criticized her for every little detail. And if she didn't want to submit his demands, he would give her a silent treatment for days. He didn't let her work. She had to quit her job. But he didn't give her money and he forced her to have sex with him whenever he wanted. He even beat her two times. So in this relationship she suffered from different type of abuse, verbal, emotional, physical, financial and sexual. After this year Olga was never the same. She lost weight and felt like she's a shadow among the world, never seen, never heard. He had completely broken her spirit. She believed that she is ugly and incapable as a woman. And she thought, if I stay any longer, I'm gonna die. So on the first anniversary, she filed a divorce. Unfortunately, after this marriage, she married a criminal psychopath because she didn't think that she deserved better. And this phenomenon called repeat victimization and it means victims of abuse are more likely to become victims again. And the moral is don't feel shame to cancel a wedding. It can cost you much more than other people's disappointment. Listen to yourself, your feelings, your intuition. Learn more about this person. Don't rush to get married. And I hope you will find a right partner and you will have happy relationship with a healthy person. 
If you like this video, click like, leave a comment below this video, subscribe to my channel. See you next time. It was Tatiana Dichenko.